What's up? It's Marco Sage Soccer, and today I want to talk about some American players in the Premier League relegation race. After today, there's been a lot of new developments in it. And starting off, we've got the good news. Christian Pulisic and Gabriel Salamina should be safe from relegation as Chelsea have reached the magical 40-point mark. But, <laughs> as jokes aside, another Premier League club dealing with relegation who brought in an English manager is Leeds United, who brought in big Sam Allardyce. If you're unfamiliar with him, he is one of the many English managers who is kind of like a break in case of emergency for many clubs. And there's no shame in it. Crystal Palace have done it like used all of them, like Tony Pulis, Neil Warnock, Alan Pardew, uh, Sam Allardyce himself, Roy Hodgson, Roy Hodgson again. And like, again, no shame in it, but it's happening with Leeds United right now. And basically he's going to come into the club and they're going to be playing very defensively and try to get a couple of points out from these last few games. They had a pretty good performance against Man City. It was a loss, obviously, but a 2-1 loss isn't that bad at all. Uh, made it a game towards the end. And more than anything, they didn't destroy their good or relatively good goal difference that they had. So I think Leeds, they're in decent shape. But right now, I'm kind of, like, kind of concerned about the direction of the club. And that's come with a lot of research I've been doing into Leeds. And I'm not too sure it's the best place for our players to be at the moment. Well, I think it was probably the right idea to bring in somebody like a Sam Allardyce at the current moment for Leeds, and I think they should be able to avoid relegation, if nothing else, than by the other clubs around them not being the best. I am pretty concerned with the direction of the club, and looking back on it, I think Leeds have been poorly run for a very long time, and this is all the way back to the turn of the century when uh, in the late 90s, they were spending just an unsustainable amount to make their squad better, but they needed to keep qualifying for the Champions League in order for it to work out. And they had a good team back then, and they even reached the Champions League semifinals, but they weren't able to keep qualifying for the Champions League. And that ended up making them lose a ton of money. They had to sell all their players. A lot of them got relegated. They got relegated. Uh, they end up in the third tier, actually. And Things have slowly been getting better, but they kind of settled in as just a championship regular for a while. And then they appointed Marcelo Bielsa, who was doing just an amazing job with the Leeds team, got them firing really well in his first season. They just missed out on promotion. And then they had a second season where uh, they did very well. They had a pause due to the pandemic, but then got promoted, had a very good start in their first year in the Premier League. And the second year, it was kind of going off the rails. They had to get rid of Bielsa. They brought in Jesse Marsh. They were barely able to avoid relegation. And then we have this year where we had Marsh, uh, Gracia, um, just uh, now they have Allardyce. And it seems like Leeds have kind of been falling off after a really good period under Marcelo Bielsa. But the more I look into it with Leeds, it seems like they were never really fixed from when they were being run terribly. They just happened to get it right with appointing Bielsa. Marcelo Bielsa completely revolutionized the club with a, just an intense style of play, the intense practices, and you had players who looked like they might not have been good enough for the championship turning into solid Premier League players, and he did an amazing job with the club. That's not to say that he shouldn't have been fired. With Bielsa, when you look at him, he really, he does great things, he does great work for clubs, but it's unsustainable, like he's just spending, and I think actually the break because of the pandemic might have helped him. Uh, Bielsa's time at Leeds was the longest he's ever spent at a club, and I think that that break might have given the squad uh, just the rest that they needed to have a good run in the Premier League for a bit, but it was always going to come to an end, and I don't think Leeds were wrong for firing Bielsa, but he was the only thing really going for Leeds. Their recruitment hasn't been stellar. Rafinha was a really good buy. I do want to say, I think their academy is one of the top ones in England. Calvin Phillips was just an immense player for them. But when you look at Leeds, I don't think they're particularly run well. They make a lot of bad purchases. I mean, when you look at the Americans they bought, Tyler Adams has been very good. But Aronson, I mean, as much as it hurts, he really hasn't lit the world on fire. McKinney really hasn't fixed anything with Leeds. Like, that hasn't been good. Uh, Christensen, who Marsh brought in, really hasn't helped. Like, Nato has been one of their best players, and he's just such a young guy. Like, it's a bit of a concern with uh, Lisa's recruitment, especially when you look at how much money they're spending and just their wide attacking players. And, like, 
kind of tens who are a bit of luxury players for a team struggling with relegation when they don't have a good striker. Patrick Bamford had one very good season under Bielsa, but it's looking like he was a one season wonder. And then they don't have many people beside that. Rodrigo is good. I don't think he's really a striker though. And goalkeeper has been terrible for them this year. I know Melier has a good amount of potential, but he's not ready for the Premier League. And because of that, they have lost a lot of points on goals. He is just screwed up. Like, he has really hurt the team. And again, he has potential. I'm not going to say, like, he's a terrible player or anything. But honestly, like, Leicester were better off with Danny Ward than Leeds are with Ian Melier. And that's kind of scathing to say that. Um, yeah, so they are in bad shape. Uh, the good news is that there should be some ownership turnover relatively soon. And staying up in the Premier League would actually be ideal for them because that would allow the current owners to sell for a high price. And maybe the new owners will be able to run the club a bit better, but they just have to stay in the Premier League. And I think Sam Allardyce is the man to do it, but it's a little bit concerning for Leeds because when they were coming up under Bielsa, there was just such a, a positive momentum with them. But it seems now like they're just another Premier League club. They're just another team bringing in Sam Allardyce to hopefully stave off relegation. Another team getting bought by American investors. Again, I'm a Crystal Palace fan, no judgment here. But another team bringing in American investors to hopefully get things settled in. Maybe they could bring in a good director of football who will help. And again, I like their academy. I think they have some good sets set up there, but I don't know. It's just a sobering bringing them back down to earth and pretty likely that a lot of the American players there will be moving on. And if they get relegated, things might end up being pretty bad for Leeds. They might be in the same situation they were in 2017, where they're just another championship club. And yeah, hopefully I'm wrong with that, because I'd love to see Aronson have an amazing season next season, bring McKinney back, and uh, make his loan move permanent, have Tyler Adams stay, have a really good American squad that'd be awesome to see, have some of the youth players come through, because again, I... I think it's really underrated Leeds Academy. There are a lot of good like England internationals that come through there. And I think like there's a good amount of potential there, but it needs to be tapped into. And I don't think the current group are doing that. They just happen to get lucky with appointing Marcel Bielsa. And yeah, that's all I got to talk about. See ya.